Hi everybody, here a short tutorial on Expresso, Python and Materials. I want to give you a short introduction how to change your mat materials uh, using Expresso or using Python. First uh, I'll show you how to uh, change materials uh, using Expresso. I've created a sphere with an Expresso tag to it and a material. So open up your Expresso window. And now the question, yeah, how to change, how to edit, how to get access to your material attributes. Well, it's quite easy. Remember with Expresso, you just uh, drag and drop the various icons of the materials to your Expresso window. So to get access to the standards, to the high level uh, attributes of your material like color, brightness and so on you just click this icon and drag and drop it into your expresso window and here you can see you have different to the uh, of your, you have access to the high level attributes for example here are all the basic attributes like the name and the able the different channels and so on But how to get access to, for example, this texture, to this shader. As you can see here, within the color channel, you don't have access yet to this, to this texture or to the shader. In my case, this is a uh, layer. And again, you don't see that here in these parameters. So what you do then is, you, again, you drag the icon, in this case, the icon of this texture, of this shader, to your Expresso window. And then you can see you have, again, access to these parameter, parameters on this level. Like, for example, the name again, and the shader properties. But in this case, just the various layers. Yeah, so the color layer, and the Fresno layer. I'll show you. But again, no access to the color uh, to this effect. So, what you do? Well, as always, just click the little icon and drag it to your Expresso window. And again, let me show you you have access to the various parameters on this level. The color and so on, the brightness. So once again, to get access to the various material parameters, you just click and drag the icons on that level to your Expresso window. Okay, I hope that's clear. Okay, so how to access uh, material parameters using Python. I created an, a cube with a Python tag and a material on it. The material is pretty straightforward, it has a color channel with a color shader in it, all white. And an alpha channel which has a layer to it. That's more specific, more difficult. But I'll show you how to access them. So this is the Python code. See it's very straightforward. It's just an example how to get uh, different parameters. And I'll open up the console. Where you can see uh, various print statements to show you what's going on. So first of all, you have to, of course, get the material you want to change. You get the parameters of uh, the material itself. So you do that with the search material, and in my case is the math python material. As you see, this is the math python material. And I print out the material name, the baseless name. And here you can see the name is the math python. That's the name. So how to uh, get 
this offset, this constant, identifying the name of the material. It's about the same as in uh, Expresso, except you don't drag and drop uh, icons, but you drag and drop the parameter you want to get. So in this case the name, so you click it, and you drag it to your console window. And then you can see it's a sort of C4D ID baseless name. And again, the one I've been using here. So, the next one is how to get to the color, the color shader, the color texture effect. So first we have to go from the material to this shader. So drag and drop the texture to this name. And then you can see the C4D material color shader. That's the shader, so in this case I get the shader from this material and the shader I get is the color shader. I print out the name and the type of the shader. And in this case is the color shader in the color channel, like you see, it's indeed the name. And the type, it's a color. So pretty straightforward. Let me show you. If you want to get the color values itself, you drag and drop it to here, and there you have it. So show you, uh, let me show you how to get that. Um, print again SHD, the shader variable, and then we copy paste this one. Copy, add a bracket. Compile syntax error. Yeah, no dot to it. Compile and run it. And as you see, the factor value of this color is 111. If I change it, make it more clear, there you see, it's almost zero. Let's put it on zero, clear it out, show you. And then you can see the value is zero, one, zero, and that's correct. Yeah? It gets a bit more uh, complicated when the texture or the shader is not a straightforward, but it's a layer. A layer is in fact, uh, well, a small hierarchy with the parent and different childs. So I have here uh, a layer uh, channel or here, consisting of a Fresnel and a color. And you cannot drag and drop a Fresnel to this one, for example. Python doesn't know how to handle it. So, how to get there? First of all, of course, you have to get uh, the shader information again. So drag and drop this texture to the console window. And here you see it's a material alpha shader. And here I set it uh, a shader, material one, and the alpha shader. Again, get the name and get the type. And as you can see, the name is an alpha channel layer. That's correct. And the type is a layer. And because it's a layer, uh, we have to do something special. Like in a normal object hierarchy, we have to go uh, use get down and get next to get the various sub channels or sub shaders or whatever you call it. So, this is what do I do? I set the first shader, uh, this is the layer shader, so let's say the parent level and here I get down to the child level and there again I print the shader information out and that's correct because the first one we see is indeed the Fresnel which you can see here and the second because 
after the get down I'll do a get next the next base shader object is the color shader like you can see here so how to access a parameter within this sub shader well you click it for example and in this case you can again click this color and drag and drop it in your console window and then you can see for this level for this shader level it's a c4d color shader color as you can show you so what you can do you can read and print it out but you can also set it for example i can change it again to another color oh that's correct compile it and run it and it's again purple put it all to white compile it and run it once and it's all white yeah of course yeah yeah I was wondering why it's not white but we're changing the alpha channel color now let me show you alpha we're changing this color and not the material overall color so let me show you once again um, change this one <coughs> compile run and here you can see the change you can see it better make it even more clear do it once again change it compile it and run it and see the change is being made in the color of this alpha channel shader okay so um, for simple shaders and channels it's very straightforward just drag and drop your parameter in the console window if it's more complicated for example when, when using layers you have to use the get down and get next like you normally do in yeah in hierarchy in object hierarchy again this can be then the parent and these are the children of that parent okay I hope I made myself clear if you have any questions, please let me know.